this is Dan at Master Trader, and in this week's lesson, we're going to discuss two strategies on how to get on board a bullish pattern, but short-term extended. And I'm also going to show you, actually, how these two strategies, shorting a put versus buying a covered call, are, are very similar, if not identical. Let's start with our, our pattern here. So we have VRX daily and the monthly. Now, this stock has just gotten shellacked since 2015, $260. It went all the way down. This was an all-time low right here, so mid $8. But now momentum is kind of slowing here, obviously. It's building a base of demand. This bottom failed, but this new low had no follow-through. So actually, this is... This is bullish to us. Now, it's not ready for core long because of all this resistance here, but it's mending. And then you have pickup in volume also. But on the daily here, had a, a, a pro gap here, bullish pro gap, deep advance, pulled back, rallied, and it's coming back here to retest it. Then it rallied all the way back up, taking out this prior high with a wide range igniting bar. So now it got our attention. We're bullish on it, and we're interested in, in a bullish pattern here. But it still had, it's extended right now. It ran from $12 to fifteen fifty, So that, that's a huge percent. So let's now look at the strategies. VRX closed at fifteen fifty. So I'm going to show you shorting a naked put first covered call is a synthetic equivalent. So let's take them one by one. We'll start with the covered call. Covered call is buying the stock and simultaneously shorting a call option at your desired strike price and expiration. In this example, we pick 29 days to expiration. And we're also then going to use the at the money. This 15.5 is at the money because that's what it's trading at, right to the penny. So we would log into our trading software, buy however many shares of VRX that you're interested in. And as you know, an option, one contract represents 100 shares. So let's just assume um, 100 shares of VRX at 1550. You would be selling one call option of the July 15.5. We always try to get midpoint. So midpoint in this example would be 103. So the difference between 1550 and 103 is 1447. That would be your net debit. Debit is when you pay money. Now, Let's look at selling a 15.5 July naked put. 99 by 103, we again try to get filled at the midpoint is 101. So if we sold one put contract, we would take in $101 because this is per share. Now let's talk about the reward to risk on both because that's what a synthetic equivalent means. It means there are two different strategies that have the same potential upside gain and same potential maximum loss. Now, it's kind of funny to me that um, many brokers, the media, uh, the SEC, everybody says covered calls are the lowest risk, wonderful strategy for all types of traders and investors. And we love them too, obviously. But then they like to say, oh, shorting naked puts is so dangerous. And I'm going to now um, clarify that myth for you. So let's look at the reward to risk of these two strategies. When we short a naked put, then we take in money premium, so the $101, and we have the obligation to buy VRX on or before expiration at 15.5. So let's say 
it closes at $15. So we are going to be obligated to buy the stock at 15.5 because it's in the money. So we were 15.5 minus the 101. I'm not great with this drawing tool, obviously. And that is our $14 and four cents. I'm sorry, 49 cents. Wow, I need some practice on this. So our maximum loss is if the stock goes to zero. But our cost basis is what I just tried to map out there for you. It's going to be $14.49. So that's the maximum we can lose is $14.49 a share, which is substantially less than where the stock was trading at that point in time, $15.50. So that's why when we do both of these strategies, covered call and selling puts, the premium that we receive is our cushion to be wrong, so to speak. Our maximum gain in this whenever you're selling options is the premium received. So as long as this stock um, expires over 15.5, we have made 100% of the premium received. So on a one lot, that's my $101. Now, let's look at the covered call. The covered call is we buy... 15.50. We sold this, so our just since this one's two cents off of this one, then our basis is actually two cents lower on this one. But when we sell this 15 and a half dollar call, we are obligating ourselves to sell our stock at 15.50 at expiration for 15.50. But we already put a dollar three in our pocket, so that is our maximum gain. Our maximum loss is identical as selling a naked put, other than a two cent skew difference there. So the potential risk to reward is identical of these two strategies. Now let's discuss the, the pros and the cons margin management, and well, I just told you the skew. The skew is when um, calls or puts are more expensive with the same delta. So the same at the money, and you can go out of the money uh, for an out of the money put, out of the money call. And if people are, are has higher demand for puts or calls, they're gonna cost more. And so that's what's called the skew. And two cents here, I wouldn't even worry about it. So uh, the, there was very little to no skew here. So the pros and the cons, margin and management. The margin on a covered call is going to be greater because you're having to pay fifteen fifty a share and you get two to one margin overnight. Although the money you took into your account here, there's no margin on that. It just reduces your cost basis. But you're getting two to one margin on this. And most brokers uh, only charge 20% when you're selling out of the money or puts. I mean, there's a complicated formula, but 20 is a, is a, is a rule of thumb. So there is less margin in selling naked puts but you only have one position. When you have a covered call, having that short call allows you to buy and sell the call around the underlying if this is an investment for you. So it's a little bit more maneuverable, although how we maneuver around our bias on just being a short naked put is we adjust the deltas with selling other puts around it, like we can convert it to a, a bull put spread, um, etc. There's many strategies we teach. So that answers all those. Uh, finally, you're going to have less commissions in just selling the naked put because that's just one order. 
Whereas these are two orders you're going to uh, be charged for buying stock and then selling the call. So hope that helped. That is um, how to get on board a bullish stock. So um, it, even though, it, let me go back to the chart here. So even though it's a little bit extended, you might say, hey, I'm going to I'm going to buy the stock and sell a fifteen dollar call. So then it can go against you and you still have that cushion to be wrong and sit through a pullback. Or you might want to sell a fourteen dollar put way down here. But bear in mind, if you sell a fourteen dollar put, you're only getting forty one cents a share. So everything on strike selection and expiration is a balancing act between um, your reward and risk, your probability of profit versus the premium that you are receiving. So I hope you followed all that, but uh, we, um, we have a wonderful 10 module uh, Master Trader Option Strategy Series where we go over every one of these strategies from A to Z and we um, our edge is tying them into the charts and we we split everything up in either to a directional trade bullish or bearish or income producing trade where we recommend strategies and teach you how to do them on your own obviously that's what we're saying this will teach you how to fish where you can manage your own trades and generate your own weekly income plus manager uh, long-term investments. So that's it. I hope that helped and have a great uh, trading day.